Hey, welcome back this morning. We're in 1 Samuel chapter 10, and we're going to take verses 9 through 16 this morning and read those and then just think about those together. Straight to it. So it was when he had turned his back to go from Samuel that God gave him another heart, and all those signs came to pass that day. When they came there to the hill, there was a group of prophets to meet him, and then the Spirit of God came upon him, and he prophesied among them. And it happened when all who knew him formerly saw that he indeed prophesied among the prophets, that the people said to one another, What is this that has come upon the son of Kish? Is Saul also among the prophets? Then a man from there answered and said, But who is their father? Therefore it became a proverb, Is Saul also among the prophets? And when he had finished prophesying, he went to the high place. Then Saul's uncle said to him and his servant, Where did you go? So he said, To look for the donkeys. When we saw that they were nowhere to be found, we went to Samuel. And Saul's uncle said, Tell me, please, what Samuel said to you. So Saul said to his uncle, He told us plainly that the donkeys had been found, but about the matter of the kingdom he did not tell him what Samuel had said. So here we have again the continuation from yesterday morning. It happens exactly as Samuel laid out. Saul goes, he meets these people at a certain time, and Saul begins to prophesy. Wow. And uh, the the word goes out among the different people, because who is is Saul? He's a a nobody. I mean, yes, he's a tall nobody. He's the tallest nobody in the land, but uh, people don't know who he is. He's from the smallest tribe. He's like the smallest family from the smallest tribe. But God gives here an indication by putting him among the prophets. Not only, I think, was that a spiritual help for Saul that we talked about yesterday morning, but I think this was a spiritual help for the nation that that would be receiving him as king. There's something that God is doing. That's what he's doing. He's showing a sign that he's doing something. And so the word goes out, is is Saul also among the prophets? God is, is giving some help to Saul. He's giving him a little bit of gravitas. Uh, because not just every random person prophesies. And so the word is going out that something interesting is happening with Saul. Now, when Saul comes back, his his uncle asks him, well, what, what did Samuel say to you? Because Samuel's kind of the important guy. And Saul doesn't tell him. Saul doesn't, he tells him only about the donkeys. He doesn't tell him about the big part, you know. Yeah, he anointed me to be king. Uh, that's sort of big news. But he doesn't tell his uncle. Saul's, he's having some reluctance things going on here. And this is actually a very good sign. A lot of times the people who are attracted to leadership, some of those people are the the least, the minimum kind of person to be a leader sometimes. Uh, Saul here is humble at the beginning. He, He doesn't really, he's not looking for this. And so that's a good sign. That's a good sign. Saul, maybe he'll get off to a good start here, but we'll follow his career all the way through. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, we have here a reluctant servant, but he's he's following through. He's doing what you told him. So we thank you that Saul at the beginning here is trying to get into the right mode. Uh, Lord, we thank you that you looked out for him. You were building up his, his influence by doing this prophecy thing, showing the people that you have something spiritual going on with this man who you're going to uh, cause to be proclaimed king. So, Lord, we we just want to have right leadership in our lives, right spiritual leadership. Please help us to pray for our pastors and elders in our churches. Help us to pray for our spiritual leaders. And Lord, first of all, of course, you be our spiritual leader and help us to be people of the word so we can help the other spiritual leaders and test them all according to your word. So, Lord, help us to know who the leaders you have for us are that we may follow you, benefit from the ministry you give to us through them. Thank you for hearing our prayer, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. God is working for his people. He was working for them then. He's working for us now. Don't forget it. He's on his throne. God be with you today in all that you do.